Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like this person, this karmic is um, unhealthy, overindulging, she's overeating, she's not taking care of herself, she could be, I don't know why I'm hearing the word rotting. Okay, I don't know why I just heard the word rotting, but like rotting from like the, I don't know. It, it feels like somebody, maybe this karmic is about to get sick or um, it could be, I don't know, something about the way, the way they're not taking care of themselves. I, they're looking like a complete fool too, or this masculine is realizing that there was somebody who really is coming across as a as a clown this this karmic could have also gained like a lot of weight as well okay um and there's a whole lot of fighting going on behind the scenes anyway just take what resonates leave the rest behind um i'm also picking up on you know this karmic could have been doing some kind of spell work on you right? Say she's jealous of your looks, you know, say you've got this beautiful body, right? And she was maybe trying to get you to overindulge in something so that you would gain weight. Well, now I'm, I'm feeling like um, you, there's spirit guides in their home kind of bringing back all of that bad energy that she sent you. And um, so now she's gaining weight. She's overindulging. You know, if she, if you had, if you have really long hair, right, she may have wanted like your hair to fall out or something like that. Like she could have done a spell work on you to try to get you to lose your hair or, or gain weight or something. But here she is, I feel like she cut her own hair off. She's showing some signs of mental instability as well. Um, look at the, even in two, two completely separate decks. Okay, this is the same exact haircut. I never noticed that before. Same exact haircut, you guys. So she's wearing a lot of makeup as well, like overdoing it. She's trying to, she over, is overdoing everything. I don't know. Um, and it's causing a lot of chaos, a lot of drama maybe in a home situation with your masculine. Your masculine doesn't want to even be around her around this karmic anymore um this masculine is trying to maybe get i'm feeling like heavy hermit energy off of this okay so you could be dealing with a virgo maybe a libra gemini aquarius possibly a leo um but i feel like they're in hermit energy there's something that is repulsive this person i kind of get the sense they feel a bit repulsed Maybe it's because of all the fighting and the, the karmic is overeating, gaining weight, not taking care of themselves. Look, at she's even wearing a dirty shirt here. If you notice this, the shirt is dirty. There's something about how she may smell as well. So this karmic could have a lot of body odor. I'm not going to lie. Look at how she's holding up her hand and it's like moldy under here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So this masculine doesn't even really want to be around her, and they fight all the time. If she's listening to this, she's angry, okay? So she could be listening to this right now and being angry. Um, she's lashing out at the masculine as well, okay? So this masculine is trying to avoid her, um, and there's something about she's got some kind of funky smell going on. I think she just has body odor because she's really not taking care of herself. And the stress, the stress from the situation, because um, she's losing control of this connection that she has with this masculine, I feel like that's affecting her smell. Look at even under this armpit is all sweaty and black too. Do you see that? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so she's got some major funkage going on, okay? Yeah, the, you know, other people could be complaining about this too. Other people could be really, like, trying to, like, 
trying to get her to take care of herself and she could be in self-defense mode, you know? It could make her feel uncomfortable. I feel like whatever she put out on you as far as spell work is coming back on her. And it's like, and that's maybe why, because they keep showing me the word rot. Um, it, it, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it smells like, she smells like something rotten. Like, even this picture, like, look at the masculine, like, eh, kind of wrinkling up his nose. Yeah, there's something not right about her smell. She's funkalicious, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's really not taking care of herself. She could be a heavy drinker. She's done a lot of spell work. See all these crumpled up pieces of paper here? That's a spell. She's done a lot. And now it's coming back to kick her in the, in the behind. Okay? It is. It's backfiring on her. And she's done so much that it's, she's like reeking of it. She's reeking of that negative energy that she's put out. She's having this, this karmic could sweat a lot because I just keep seeing the sweat under her armpit. Um, she's got some terrible body odor. And she gets angry about this when people point it out, but this masculine doesn't like her smell. There's something about her. Look at his nose. There's something about her smell. Hold on. Something fell on the floor. Ooh, yeah, and uh, he's thinking, why can't you smell up more like the Divine Feminine? <laughs> the Divine Feminine smells like roses, and you're over here with this. She smells like the inside of a men's locker room, like for real, okay? <laughs> it's from the spell work. She tried to affect, like, um... She tried to, I don't know, she tried to send you some kind of energy to maybe make you repulsive like this. Because she is, she's, your person is very repulsed by her. Um, and it's all, she sent out the spell work and it's all coming back on her now. Um, yeah, and maybe she's very frustrated as well. She could, she could also realize that she's got this, I don't know. She she could realize that there's a that there it's an issue, but she doesn't know how to fix it. Okay. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Wait a minute. You know what I just saw? I just saw Ruth the Acrobat in here. Hold on. <laughs> if I can find her again, well, she'll come out. Um. Yeah. Every. Yep. And there she is. Every body part smells on this person. Okay, like she realizes it too. So anyway, let's get past that, okay? <laughs> um, but this masculine, they're thinking about you and you're out here doing nothing but winning. I'm seeing you in Empress energy. Um, yeah, and they're really sad. They're sad. They're looking at this karmic individual too, like I'm... I feel like they're a bit worried about her health, to be honest. They're worried about her health because whatever's happening with her, it quite simply cannot be ignored. You know, but you're over here winning. You're very healthy, taking wonderful care of yourself. Really, yes, look at you glowing. Woo! Yeah, collective, you're healthy, you're strong, you're confident. You've got a glow about you, your skin, you've got beautiful skin. Um, you could have long, brown, curly hair. Then this person can't stop thinking about you. But they're with this karmic and they, they I, you know, this person just, I feel like they try to get alone as often as possible. They do. And that's, that's, um, making them boss up. They're um, elevating here. They're learning. They're learning some spiritual lessons. This person's very much kind of a, a hermit. They don't want to be around the karmic. 
so they go to um, they go often to be alone I don't know where they're going to be alone maybe it's out in nature it could be spending a lot of time in their car you know it um, maybe they spend a lot of time at work but this person is hermiting out um, trying to get away from this karmic okay and in doing that they're looking at the situation and they're realizing that they should be with you this person is wondering if this karmic is cheating because I, I feel like I don't know she's she's giving off a kind of energy or something that this masculine is picking up on you know like they're they're like something smells fishy right they're they're wondering if this karmic is cheating and I she may have she may have been cheating right underneath their nose okay She's angry about all of this. I feel like she's watching. She could be a cross watcher watching right now. Yeah, so, uh, and she's, uh, anything sets her off. I feel like um, she's, she's a short fuse. She's got a very quick temper. Um, and when she loses her control, she can get violent. She can break things. Um, she doesn't want to take a look at herself, even though she knows that she's got some kind of problem. She may be stressed out about that, like, what is going on with my body? What's going on with me? You know, but I'm telling you, I feel like it's all because of the spell work she put out, and it's had no effect on you whatsoever, Collective. Look at you. And you're actually closing out a cycle on a glow-up, feeling good, looking great. You, your energy is coming back, your motivation you're excited for new things. You're excited for the spring, whatever. Okay? You could be doing really well on the internet if you have some kind of online business. You're happy. You're glowing here. She hasn't had any effect. It's all coming back onto her. All of the witchy poo magic is coming back on this karmic. She could even be... That if she had any kind of mental instability before, it's getting worse. She could be literally kind of going, you know, going mad, going crazy. And your person is just like, what have I done? You know, they want away from this karmic so bad. They want to end this karmic situation. And they want to come and bring you an, a love offer. Okay. This person watches you. I feel like you have some kind of internet platform, and they're watching you. They just keep watching you grow. You know, every time this karmic sends you, sends you bad negative energy, you have some kind of improvement in your life or accomplish something, and they take a turn for the worse. This karmic is losing, or sorry, gaining weight. She's overeating, overindulging. It could be an addiction that she's overindulging in, okay? Um, and meanwhile, she's just kind of sloughing around, watching you, sending you bad energy, and not taking care of herself. Like, she's really uh, going down. Like, I mean, she's doing it to herself, though. And meanwhile, you just, uh, you're just you out here attracting the attention of others. <laughs> you're in empress, emperor energy, very successful at your job, your business, your firm, whatever it is. Okay? Um, yeah, you're, it's like you're one of the big dogs. You know what I mean? You're, you're, it's like you're on, top of, you're on top of the food chain here. You're the top of the food chain. And this... This karmic, man, she's just been trying to bring you down or make you look like a fool or create issues with your appearance or something, and it's affecting her instead, okay? She's losing it, man. She's doing a lot of screaming, a lot of, it's a lot of fighting, a lot of screaming. She's, she's loud. She's aggressive. Your person just doesn't want to listen to it anymore. They want out. So is this person going to take some kind of action? Like, 
Let's ask, is this person going to take some kind of action? This masculine, what, are, what is this masculine going to do? What is this masculine going to do? Well, they want a new beginning. Um, I, you know, I feel like this masculine is just realizing that this karmic has held on to them for money. You know, this masculine could do a lot of working. Like, they, they're the ones who go to work. They provide. They give this karmic a lot of money. Um, take care of the karmic. I feel like they're realizing here that it's all, that like, their money's getting stolen. This could be something like the karmic actually um, taking money out of their bank account or um, taking money out of their wallet or I, I feel like there's some theft here. There, there's something that's alerting this masculine, but they're getting spiritual messages from the divine. Okay, so spirit may be cluing this person in on what this karmic's been doing. She's really just about money. And I feel like she may even be pressuring this person to get married, okay? Because I'm, this masculine's feeling a lot of pressure. And they're in love with you, okay? They, I feel like they just want you. There may even be, um, she could be cheating with someone else. There could be another person sneaking in and out of their home while this masculine is at work, right? Making the money. I'm seeing someone else coming in and out, and if that's the case, whoever this is that this karmic is cheating with has an STD. Okay, she may have recently met somebody new. That person has an STD. Yeah, this masculine feels absolutely stuck. They're like, how am I going to get out of here? You know, they are realizing things a lot, though. This is like an aha moment. Okay, they may actually come home from work early one day. Say they hurt their back, right? Say they go to work and hurt their back or they're not feeling good. You know, they come home and they catch somebody leaving their house who's been sleeping with this karmic. I feel like it's about to be exposed. Okay. This masculine's about to find out. Yeah, they're, yep. The karmic has been keeping something a secret. Okay, this is secrets, lies. It's, this masculine is about to see it with their own eyes. Okay, they're about to see it with their own eyes. They may even bust in on these two together. Because they, I feel like they, uh, the karmic is having an affair with someone else in their own bed, in this masculine's bed. And trying to keep it a secret. She's about to be exposed as a cheater. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, heavy Pisces. Maybe a Libra or Leo Aries Sagittarius and or Libra since I said Libra. Yeah, and when the, when this person sees that they're being cheated on, um, they're gonna get so emotional. I feel like this person may even have like they're gonna have to sit down. Um, they may even have something like an emotional breakdown. Okay. Because they're going to see that they've been manipulated. It's going to kind of knock the wind out of this person. They've been manipulated. They've been cheated on. Um, and they lost the one that they can't stop thinking about. Yeah, it's all about to be exposed. I'm telling you. They're about to literally catch this karmic. Um, like right right at right after they're done cheating okay i feel like they see somebody actually leave their house they see who this is they see this person in and out of their home okay so this karmic is about to get busted for the cheating and there may even be 
an STD that this person is going to be made aware of because they're going to get the STD too. Okay. Oh man, it's, it's just going crazy. But here's the thing. The universe said there has to be some endings to these karmic situations. You have plenty of time to end them. Go ahead and end them. If they don't end them, if the universe wants these karmic situations over, because it's, it's the end to a cycle, the universe will line things up so that it's over beyond the shadow of a doubt. Like, like no way can it be fixed. Okay, and that's pretty much what's happening here. I feel like it's just, it's becoming such a huge mess that once everything kind of like explodes, there's going to be no way to, to put it back together. So this is one of those like tower moments unfolding here, okay? Um, and it's a lot of exposure and it's going to create the final ending to this karmic situation, all right? Um, let's see what this person has to say. But they needed to, they needed to find out the truth. They needed to um, realize some things, this masculine. And they are. I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. No other compares to you. Yeah, this person is like, all they can think about is you, really. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. You are the one and only. I'm moving on with my life. Yeah, this person is ending this karmic situation. And they're afraid. I feel like they're afraid. They're about to approach you. They know they've hurt you. They don't want to hurt you again. Yep. I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. Yep. It's this karmic connection is finally moving past all these patterns. This, um, it's going to be over. It's going to be done. Okay? And your person is not going to be the same after this. They're going to change. They're going to, um, the change will be for the better. However, they may end up with this, with an STD. Okay. They may end up with an STD. They're breaking free from the karmic situation. And this person is learning lessons here with the divine. All right. So they are, they're not the same person that they were, but Geez, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, I, they've got some negative things happening with them. They've got some positive things happening with them. So use your discernment because I feel like this person, once this situation is ended, they're going to be coming back around to you to talk, okay? You to talk, okay?